been one crazy morning, guys, getting everything loaded and ready to go to Unlimited Off-Road Expo this morning. It's been raining and storming. I got the Jeep all loaded up, though, and we're just about ready to oh, go. <laughs> the lens is foggy. It doesn't want to focus. And then my battery went dead. What else could go wrong? Okay, so I put these hood vents on there yesterday, but it's if it gets bad rainy, it's just gonna go right into the intake, so I need to... Oh, I don't have enough hands. I gotta remember to take this off before I start it up. I'm sure I'll forget. got in. I survived the rain. Check it out. I got my booth all set up here. I got the command sheet over here. I've got my t-shirts out. Oh yeah, and guess who it is? It's Flat Mac. <laughs> all my stickers and stuff over here. Anyway, everything's good to go. I was able to pull my truck right in here, which was awesome. I was really not gonna have a good time if I had to wheel all that stuff in on a dolly or something. Actually, I forgot that too. <laughs> so it worked out perfect. Anyway, check it out. It's gonna be awesome tomorrow and Saturday. We'll see you guys, hopefully. This guy takes his job really seriously. <laughs> He's yelling at them cars, man. All right, I got my badge. I got me, I got my clothes, let's go do this. I'm quiet in here, I got in a little early so I could set up. That's a nice Comanche. Hopefully not the nicest one this year though. That's cool. You like that better? Or this? The real deal. You didn't wreck that thing pulling it in yesterday, did you? <laughs> no. You did good. This is that one I saw in Knoxville that one time when I was doing the cheap Jeep. Remember it's got the uh, it's got the rockets or whatever you want to call those on the back there and oh oh my gosh that kind of scared me I thought I was in the booth already which would be really bad the bleeping Jeep booth and flat mat all right let's get set up for the day before you guys get here here's that grim jeeper this was on that truck night in America show The seats look a little rough. Squirrel turd. 
Sell a bunch of stuff this weekend? Absolutely. Did you bring a lot? Yeah. These guys always bring stuff to sell, not just to show. Look at that. Holy cow. You're going to go home a lot lighter. I hope so. <laughs> That's the goal. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hey, Azzy. Hello. Hello. And here's the RCV booth. Check this out. Tim Cameron's bouncer is over here. Let me cut him out. What I don't understand is how he gets it so clean for the shows. I mean, look at that. Not a speck of mine on there. Dirty Turtle off-road. Trying to get as many as, of these as I can before the show starts, otherwise I'm gonna be busy. I won't have time to walk around. These guys have a cool t-shirt set up. Looks like a lot of girly stuff. Crawl her, there you go. I need to take some hints from them on uh, decorating because I'm not doing it right. Now that is a pink Jeep. Here's the guys from Mechanic. I did some work for them a while back because they sent me something. Oh, look at this guy coming in. That was here last year. Look how big that thing is. Holy cow. Anyway, there's my booth right there. And then these quick fire guys are right behind me with what looks like a demonstration. I hope they don't set my booth on fire. There's me. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. You guys want to see this? Let's go check it out. I'm surprised they even got that through the door. Thing's a beast. You need to check the oil. Oh, sorry, I can't. Don't have a ladder. See this guy get out of this thing. He's got to wait for the ladder too. Don't slip. <laughs> Here's a new JL with the uh, TNT booth. 
It's good looking, still clean. Probably has a TNT lift on there. JL engine skid. Now there you go. Already making parts for these things. JL Adventure Series sliders. Those are cool. What the heck is that thing? It's like a razor made to look like a truck, I guess. That's cool. Ooh, hole in the floor. Look at that. Two defenders. Those are really nice. Check that out. Now that is red. Doesn't look like they do too much off-road with this thing though. But that is nice. That's the busted knuckle. JK. Hello, ox locker guys. <laughs> Love the ox locker. I heard this pulling in yesterday. This thing sounds mean. Look at that. It's a big diesel in there. It's moving. It's going. I don't know what it's doing. It's doing something. Is that as fast as that thing can go? <laughs> yeah, we actually have a chain down so we don't want it to go too fast and jump off the trailer. The <laughs> raptors are wild. <laughs> and what it's depicting inside on the monitor is actually race footage of the truck competing in the Best in the Desert Series of off-road racing. Oh, cool. Um, and this simulator is very unique because it utilizes the actual Raptor suspension as part of the ride. So as you can see, by all the suspension flexing, you can actually feel the deflection of an OEM suspension. So you get inside there, mm -hmm. and there's a screen on the windshield? Yeah, yeah. This, this cover is a giant LCD screen. <laughs> now that's cool. Liquid Iron has a uh, Rubicon JL. That one looks pretty good. They're not going too crazy on the JLs yet. I haven't seen one that's that's just way out there yet. Fab Fours, what do you guys think of the, the Fab Fours look? Yukon, they've got good stuff always. There we go, High Lift has a JL. It's pretty good looking. It's got the painted flares on this one. It's nice. Soft top fuel wheels. They got some bling over there. Pretty cool truck. I don't know about the low profile tires. BDS is here. They've got this uh, F250. Now that thing is nice. Check that out. Single cab, short bed. You don't see many of those. Look at that bed though. See how it protrudes on the side? Like a uh, dually or something. That's nice. Wouldn't mind having that as a tow rig. JKS is here. They've got a JL as well. Everybody's showing off their JLs this year. It's like, gotta get in there in that market and make parts for the JL, I guess. I like the, the paint on that one, the red and white. That's cool wide open design. They're the guys that make all the bouncers, all the cool ones. Chassis, turnkey, whatever you want. All kinds of custom builder parts and whatnot. Good stuff from them. Oh, I just noticed this. This was here last year. This is that uh, Comanche I showed you earlier, but I didn't, I didn't see that. Barnes four-wheel drive. They make good custom builder parts out of steel. Lots of steel stuff, tabs, brackets, all kinds of cool stuff from them. All right, I'm pretty much back where I started. This one is uh, pretty cool though. I don't think it was here a minute ago. That's nice. ORIs, probably Rides pretty good. You guys want to walk around of the Hitman buggy? 
Man, that's tight in there. Look at the safety gear on these seats nowadays. It's crazy, you're just locked, locked in. No turning your head or nothing. They're filling up across from me here. Looks like this is the show and shine competition. I think I should pull the command sheep over there. <laughs> Surprise! Here for the show and shine. All right, I got my booth all set up. I got flat mat over here. Take a picture with flat mat, get a free keychain. I got the command sheep sitting here. I got my uh, stickers over here on this table. Shirts on this rack. Shirts spilling out over here. Hopefully it'll be a good show. Now remember, if you don't get a t-shirt at the show, you can always get them online at bleepinjeep.com slash store. There's my sales pitch. I'm a terrible salesman, but I always struggle with how to set this booth up. But I hope this one is going to be a good show. I need to take a picture with flat mat so I can get my free keychain. Woo! Got busy there for a while. Talking to people, having a good time. Nobody to hold the camera so I could get any of that on film. Maybe tomorrow Jeremy will be there uh, so he can hold the camera show a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes when the camera is normally off. Got me some shades from BF Goodrich because I left mine at the house. There's a party tonight, 7.30 at the Riverfront Park. Maybe I'll take you along with that. Check out what I found in the parking lot. How cool is that? AMC Jeep Eagle, four wheel drive. That thing is sweet. Roof rack, light bar. Jeep wheels. What's that? LED lights? Oh yeah. Busted knuckle license plate. Woo! It's right. <laughs>
they took the lights off of this one and look over here at this one still has the lights and trim on it. Looks like it's a pretty easy deal if you just wanted to pull the lights off. But see how high line the fender is with the hood? Now look at this fender here. It sits quite a bit lower than the Rubicon fender. Pretty neat. New build here. They're working on. I just want to show you something really neat. Check out the size of those axle shaft holes. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's my finger. Big old shaft in there. 